had a docked over there? Yeah. yeah. Well, he had one of those, uh, I mean, you know, it was See? really, really a nice boat. Really Bobby's nice reliving boat. his glory days aboard yachting and everything. And I didn't, you know, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go on the boat, you know. Well, boss, boss's boat's good. I, I would I like, discourage I like the him from boat. getting I another motor. I think the motor is really right size for that. Yeah. It's very, it, it really moves. Trailer seems okay. Just need to drill it out for bigger, bigger diameter bolts in there, and it'll be all right. Bring her up to the rancho, drop it off. Just drop it at the rancho. We'll refurbish it for you. You will look at this, and you'll say, "Really? The rust has got rust on it. The rust is rusty." Yes. Well, you said that's from like what, 1959 or something? 58. 58. The trailer's a 1958 trailer? Geez, something <laughs> around here is older than me. <laughs> it's done, dude. It's older than my hoops. Older than me. Yeah. And all that means more rust than my hoops. So what did you do, Jen? You went, uh, Miss Janet took you down for ice cream and pushed you up and down that hill in that chair, huh? What did I review? Review facilities and... Oh, you put it online? Just took a video. Uh, kind of a fail for ADA compliance. Yeah, it was a fail. For ADA right? compliance, they failed miserably. At least the doors stayed open. That was the only, that was the only, <laughs> that was the only good thing about it. The doors would stay open so I could pull her in with the an ice cream and, uh, We looked around and looked, looked around. And and door. And you didn't even know. buy me a squirt gun. We forgot money. We went all the way down there and forgot <laughs> money. There you go. That's Janet. She never like, forgets like, money. Neither of us brought any money. It's like, really, we're at the store and <laughs> bring any money. Is she dumber in a box of rocks? Nah, I'm going to the not. store. I'm going to leave my purse home. <laughs> neither uh, of us thought of it. There we go. The same thing. I was like, shucks, no purse, nothing. And you survive, and then the push back up the hill, huh? That's like I tried to use I my fish finder, and the batteries were dead. Held her while she was rolling down the hill. Yeah, the fish, the break fish on. finder was dead, the batteries. Uh, first mate, there were no batteries in the fish finder. Oh, there wasn't, huh? <laughs> I didn't take them out that time. You failed miserably. <laughs> oh, yet again. I didn't put take them out. Yet again. <laughs> well, they might on be that dead. note... <laughs> Okay guys, it's about a thousand degrees out of here, but uh, time to put the brats on the grill and can't expect Janet to do everything, so I'm going to take care of uh, getting lunch on today after our boating experience here. So we're going to have some brats and maybe just cook up one can of beans in case anybody wants some. Uh, we got some, brought some ranch beans, so you'll be blowing the covers off the bed tonight. All right, there goes the Napa County Sheriff. I guess we had some action down on the boat dock there. Probably a little too much uh, boozerama, huh, Bobby? <laughs> All right, so it's only about 150 degrees out here. <laughs> but I'll join Bobby. All right, they're inside watching a movie and kind of cooling off. And I enjoy outside as long as I'm in the shade. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come to you? Alright, so we just had some, uh, we have body brats and beans and some watermelon for lunch. Right I'll tell you, good lunch. It, it was an Thanks active, it. it was an active supreme courage to get on that grill and cook up those brats and beans today. You don't want to be cooking the midday meal, you know, it's all right. We wait till it's you know, like eight o'clock or so. We usually make dinner, but man, woo. In the shade. In the shade. Here comes the boss. Uh, on. We got some action on the lake, boss. We got the eye in the sky. Somebody was breaking bad out there. Huh? They went back down that way. Somebody was.
is breaking bad. Boss has joined us in the smoking room here. <laughs> it's hard in the shade. Bedroom, everybody's gone. <laughs> <I'm> like, really? <laughs> We're just sitting in the shade, getting a hot breeze. We're watching the fire. Police department. My mom on the phone. Yeah, she was gonna stop by. I said, uh, "We're not yeah, home." Yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be a wasted trip. We're out camping. Got the boat out and everything. We got AC. I'm good for. I've been setting for a long time, Bobby. So go ahead. And I can sit on the rock. <coughs> well, everybody came out. I thought it was just Bobby. <laughs> Bobby and me. Here's overhead. It's coming for you, Jim. Probably interstate flight to avoid prosecution or something. All right, some action news central right here. Ice, they're looking for boss's news flash. It's hot. Rescue. Rescue copter. Somebody probably jet skied or something and slammed into somebody else. I'm sure that's not unheard of on this lake. <laughs> Especially 100 degrees and a lot of people out there. Yeah, it's not any cooler today than it was yesterday. No. I can tell you. No. <laughs> All right, so. Our weather guy let us down once again. Just got dicked today. Just probably, dicked. Probably cool at home, but not here. That's right. All right. Happy Saturday afternoon, everybody. Just here with the uh, big Bobby here, just watching the world go by. Enjoying I mean, the quiet. Beat the heat a little bit. Heat doesn't really bother me as much as I think it bothers some people. So. Cold gets to me a lot more, but I'm making sure that uh, Missy Jen stays in the air conditioning there. And they're watching a movie, but uh, you know, it's like I was telling Bobby, I didn't really come on uh, vaca lake vacation to kind of watch movies and stuff like that, but it is oppressively hot. I'm sure it's 100, 105 again today. Funny thing is, back at home, back at the rancho, it's like 74 degrees <laughs> right now. The high today is 74, so it's beautiful living in Sonoma County, that's all I can tell you. I mean, this is all great with the boating. We had a lot of great boating fun today, but uh, makes, you, makes you appreciate uh, how nice it is in Sonoma, the, County. Yeah. Sonoma County and wine country there. So. Yeah, I got a little bit of color today, but uh, no burn. Plenty of sunscreen and a good base for it today, but it was a lot of fun being out on the water. So we're going to wait till the sun goes down a little more, uh, drops behind the hill behind us here, and then we can uh, probably around 7, 7.30, it's about what, it's getting on 5 o'clock now, but so a couple more hours, so we'll have dinner. Yeah, because we had uh, brat first, and then we had a... Uh, a little bit of beans for lunch today, so. and some watermelon, which was refreshing, which yeah. was nice to have that. So definitely appreciated having that. Good time. So kind of interesting. It's fun to watch. This is like sitting on a boardwalk at a resort town. You just sit there on a rocking chair or whatever, and you watch the whole world go past you here. People with their forty-five, fifty thousand dollar, ninety thousand, hundred thousand dollar cigar boats and stuff. <laughs> sea dues. It's a lot of fun. But uh, for me, on a lake that's twenty-two miles long and about uh, three or four or five miles wide, it's just it's. You know, when you grew up on Chesapeake Bay or something, where you'd have. Uh, 500,000 square miles and stuff. It's just a <laughs> different thing. But then here's one of my uh, brothers out there. <laughs> here's some of these idiots think it's okay to just serenade the whole place yeah, here with their music. Way. It's like, really? Unbelievable. 
Bobby, never in a million years if you had a boat you'd be doing that, would you, huh? No, I would not. Bobby's got a little too much class for that, huh? No, I would not. Especially that kind of crap music. <laughs> have been putting up with my bullshit for years doing videos. Yeah, the boss was telling us how great that fish finder is. We get that out there in the water. I'm setting yeah, up the block. Fish in its life. What do you mean? I'm it's setting that room. setting that thing up and whew, you know, that's it. it. Softy right away. It was, it was an immediate softy on the fishing today. <laughs> no fish. No fish. What did you think, Bobby? No fish today. Not huh? today. Not today. I caught a fish all year. <laughs> it did so, troll, what, a couple hours, an hour and a half of yeah, trolling? Yeah. Yeah. I would have thought we would have gotten one hook up or bite, you know? No you YouTube trolls out there in the water. <laughs> I, I, I thought we were lost, but the boss found his way back. I guess you got to be out there like five, and you got to be on the water like five o'clock. This area that we went on is a small side of the lake. Once we go out, past those uh, high voltage markers yeah if you take the channel to the left then that's the big side of the lake oh wow you guys didn't go to the dam yeah we yeah, did that was yeah. the easy part this is really close yeah, we're close yeah. to the dam we're yeah, close that's to why but, and that's the only place we went is by the dam and back home we didn't go on the big side You're too late for the glory hole huh? no glory hole huh? no we, we, we went by the porta potty the water's it's not take deep us three enough rounds anymore. to get to the porta potty. <laughs> three rounds. <laughs> Go three three passerbyers. <laughs> we kept passing by it too far. Rosie couldn't reach far enough. <laughs> and I had to stay in the middle because I'm the balance. Come on, Rosie. And I, and I want you to know I reach my for it. I, I want my left. Le Captain, my it's my fault. What? <laughs> I never hear did you those. Get that on tape? I, I did. The first time you've ever heard the boss say that was my, my fault. fault. Something. Are you kidding me? Let me rewind that. <laughs> boss is error free in life. That was a good time though. I was happy on the boat. zebra mussels from infesting the lake you actually have to dry off your boat here comes a nice cigarette boat probably the fastest thing on the lake today although I wasn't fortunate enough to see it out there
But yeah, that way they uh, prevent uh, contamination of mussels, zebra mussels, which clog inlets and cooling pipes from spreading from one lake to another. So hope you enjoyed this little Saturday afternoon chooch and some of the scenes on the docks. Quails. He is, uh, we got his bloom on. Little quail there running along. Uh, uh, Couple of them. Cubby. <laughs> it's the Bobby Quail. The guys run right up the hill, huh? Pretty cool. Guess who's on the grill tonight? Your grillmeister, the boss, huh? You gonna barbecue some chicken tonight, boss? Hmm? A little bit of chicken tonight. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of roasting corn. We got hmm? corn roasting on here. Corn roasting. It's a husk on. There it is. Slow roasting on the grill. Looking good. I can smell it a little bit too. Smell a little bit of Sweet. corn smell, yeah? I'm gonna get us a couple quail on the <laughs> <laughs> Should self steam. Yeah, because of the uh, excessive dryness and the heat, there's no campfires allowed anywhere tonight. So unless you brought in your own charcoals or camp stove, your PSOL tonight. Plum shit out of. So we'll keep an eye on the developing story, boss on grill. Story at 11. A slow roast fresh corn. Just the corn. Get a brim you one spoon. Just a teaspoon. We better be checking the chicken. It's not flaming up. It should be roasting, right, Bobby? It's a little flame. So write it off. The education. The education is always a write off. Time to check in on ground zero at the chicken queue. Huh? Find this eastern shore of Maryland tradition right there. Tell you what, it's doing good. There's no doing flame good. up, no burning. I'm just worried about cooking it to the bone and then I'll put a little Q sauce on there and I think yeah, we'll be good. Finish her off with some sauce and we're GTG, good to go. A simple mm -hmm. salt and pepper, slow roast. There it is. Woo! No fire. <laughs> Your uh, chicken rice. All right. Rice aroni, the San rice Francisco aroni, treat. San Francisco there we go. Today. There you we all go. think we're just joking about that yeah. stuff? <laughs> it's the San Francisco. He's got it, and we got some bread on there. Yeah, Warming up, so we're doing good. good. We're looking good. Corn. Corn, right, corn's already in the microwave, just staying warm. So we're all good. All good. It was like a four-handed dinner tonight, huh? We needed four hands on deck. Eight right. hands, yeah. Eight hands, yep.
Good. Thighs and drums. And you'll notice a certain way that I do this. Pack them in. All right. Yeah. Nuts to butts. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Very colorful language, the boss. You can see all those legs lying up? Yeah, I see it. How do you do that? It takes a skill, it takes a master electrician to do that. There you go. Take that along with you. You want a shot of that? Got it. Smile! <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's looking good. That's ready to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's been done. Got for the a while. chickens done. The, Corn? Why is this corn burning hot? <laughs> it was sitting in the microwave. Well, why did you put it in there? <laughs> you were really. <laughs> Next, you ask why there's so many songs about rainbows. <laughs> poor, poor boss got the wrong. Can. He was using this for an ashtray, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was wondering why he was like choking up a fur ball. <laughs> He's like, I just drank the ashtray. I'm like, holy shit! You know, I thought you were choking on a. <laughs> anyway, the boss earned his wings tonight, and. Uh, he did a nice job on the chicken. I did a little crap. And he for babied it, so. that uh, you babied that corn too. You gave us the whole rundown of how you Man, fondled it thing. and removed the rough leaves and then Ooh. put it on. You watched me I'm do good. it, huh? Hmm? Cool. You guys really missed something, the boss uh, handling that corn. He hasn't even had chicken yet. He's eating corn. He's a very cereal right. eater. He's just working on that <laughs> piece of corn. And I've and already, uh, I've rice. already eaten my chicken and everything. We're, we're already almost done, and the boss is just on. The just getting floor. started because he oh, yeah, savors important. every bite mm -hmm. and enjoys his food. I eat slow. And the missy's picking away. Yep, I'm eating the corn. Just I'm eat eating it. the rice. You're trying to put it over your fork. Chicken. Just yeah. put it to Pick your it mouth. Pick it up and bite it. Well, I have. A reason why I need okay. to Okay, pull it off. That's fine. Do what you need to do. Bobby's happy. Huh? Good, good. Well, guess what? Believe it or not, 8 o'clock at night, we're going fishing. So. <laughs> I'm driving because the um, boss has had like 30 fucking beers and 10 shots of tequila. So. The boss wants the boss gets. Correction, 8.43 at night. Uh, at least I'll catch a nice sunset.
Yep, big one. Big one? Got away. Got away? Damn. <laughs> you hate it when that happens. <laughs> S'mores. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is getaway day. Oh, I slept good last night. Slept hard, as my grandpa used to say. I slept hard last night. I gotta come over in here and see if I left the uh, little protective cup for the uh, GoPro on the lens, a little lens cup in here somewhere. That slippery little devil's been all over the place. Had a lot of fun in the boat, eh? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Guys and gals. Enjoyed that video. There it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have that. Yeah, boat done good. Kind of like a, it's a little deep V hall. It's, it sits a little higher than a Boston Whaler, huh? Beautiful day today. I don't think it's going to be as hot. All kinds of wildlife around here quail, deer, some raccoons running around. Lots of very aggressive, very mean bluebirds. Sun's just coming up over. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's time lapse sunrise. Block that sun a little bit. Just starting to get organized, get our stuff together. Gonna have just a simple breakfast this morning. We got some Danish, some coffee, some juice. So, that'll be it. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning. Made it through another trip. <laughs> This camp stove, camp chef did a good job because I'll tell you it was hotter than hell cooking on this trip. Especially by yesterday's lunch, it had to be 110 here cooking over this. That breeze feels good this morning. All right, I'm gonna go inside and pack up. You can definitely hear that turkey again over there. <laughs> Everything pretty much taken care of. The bimini top is down. Most of the camp gear is broken down, ready to be loaded. That water is like glass this morning. Nothing. There's for breakfast horns. Watermelon, yogurt, juice. <coughs> Bobby, looks like you're contemplating life over there. Huh? What was your high point of the trip besides all the times I got yelled at by the boss? What else was your... <laughs> Riding in the boat. Yeah, those, those high yeah that's uh, Janet loves to hear me get nailed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boss, for another memorable <laughs> two days. <laughs> That's what I do. What Bobby, do. enjoyed that boat ride, huh? Yeah. It was nice. Yep. Nice and cool out there when you're moving along, too. You're eating your ice cream. Got your ice cream. There you go. That's what I'm. better than a cup of coffee and a drumstick for breakfast, eh? There we go. <laughs> Have a horn. <laughs> All right. 
watermelon yogurt. Yeah, no breakfast, Ruth. It's say you can't have ice cream for breakfast. Babe. Enjoy. She could Carmel. eat one in the car on the way home. Huh? In certain parts of England, they tend to eat vanilla ice cream with bagels for breakfast. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> no, I'm not putting it on. Enjoying my last views of Camp Granada here. This woman just can't seem to get this rig parked in here, this boat. It's going back and forth, back and forth, probably 10 times. What are you doing? You're gonna have ice cream overload today. Yeah. It's not even nine o'clock, and your blood sugar is probably 300. Having an <laughs> ice cream sugar <laughs> high. Sugar high at nine o'clock in the morning. Good thing to have seat belts in cars. You'd be flying yeah. all over the place there. So <laughs> enjoy. I will. Cabins are actually on wheels. And they just set them up on jack stands under there. The ultimate portable cabin, huh? Just bring it in on an 18 wheeler. And drop it. There's the tires there. It's pretty cool. Jack stands. Yeah, jack stands and everything. It's a way to do it. Buy a cool camp spot. Hotter than hell, but nice. Once the sun would go down, very nice spot. I'm very appreciative to the boss and Janet for the first chance to go camping in probably 40 years for me. So it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching everyone. Old number 17.